Anthem 35, Prevent Us, O Lord. Welcome to Anthem 35 and my attempt to write a new choir anthem every week for a year. I'm Kevin Mulrine and I hope you'll enjoy listening to my progress throughout 2024. Please do visit the website anthem52.com, follow along on X or Instagram at realanthem52 and send me a message to show at anthem52.com. I've got a little behind in adding these updates over the past couple of weeks. I've managed to write the anthems but not the podcast episodes. Hopefully I'll be fully back on track after this week. The main reasons for this are a family holiday in Devon and a trip to Coventry to settle my daughter into her university accommodation for the, her first year. She is studying music production and songwriting. More on that topic soon. Back to Anthem 35. This time I found some interesting words in the Irish Book of Common Prayer, not in the usual Psalms section, but in one of the orders of service. I thought it was a passage from St Luke's Gospel but it's actually a collect used in the ordering of deacons' service and elsewhere. The words are still good for an anthem, though. And here they are. Prevent us, O Lord, in all our doings with thy most gracious favour, and further us with thy continual help, that in all our works begun, continued, and ended in thee, we may glorify thy holy name, and finally by thy mercy obtain everlasting life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I wrote a small opening figure for the basses, which is then echoed and elaborated by the organ, with mainly block chords. This leads to a full choir section where both a time signature change and a key change arrive quickly. The organ continues to echo fragments of the choir melody in between sections of full four-part harmony. For the second iteration of the opening material, I swap it round with the organ playing its originally echoing part first, and then the basses coming in with their opening line. For some added interest, this heads straight into another key change, from B-flat major to A major, for the second full choral phase. The whole feel is shifted up, and I think it gives the music a lift, metaphorically and physically. The words we may glorify seemed like a good opportunity to do some word painting, so that phrase is handed around the vocal parts in a sort of trumpet fanfare manner to accentuate the meaning of the words. Once the organ has echoed those parts for a moment, it introduces new material, which has an undulating character. This is then taken on by the voices in a brief pseudo-canon section, leading to a definite Amen. I only set the words once, with a little bit of repeating, so this choir and organ anthem is quite short. I think it works quite well, without being a groundbreaking masterwork. Anyway, see what you think.
Well, what do you think? Let me know on X or Instagram at realanthem52 as a comment on the show notes for this week or via email show at anthem52.com. I hope you'll join me next week for a new episode and a new anthem, only 17 to go. But until then, the question remains, will I make it to Anthem 52?